Well, good morning. God bless you. My name is Jesse, and this is the Wednesday morning devotional. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Lord, I thank you for this morning. I pray that you would bless each person watching this video. And Lord, that you would speak to our hearts and assure us of, by faith of a new identity in you, a new identity from the old life. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Well, I named this devotional New Identity. I wanted to read and talk about a few passages of Scripture in the, in the New Testament. And throughout the New Testament, we see... Uh, both an affirmation or a confirmation of a new identity in Christ Jesus and an encouragement not to walk in the old way of, of doing things or in the old identity uh, who we were before we found Jesus or before Jesus rescued us. And in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, Paul's writing and he says, in verse 9, Or do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor homosexuals, nor thieves, nor the covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. And in verse 11, Such were some of you, but you were washed, but you were sanctified, but you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and in the spirit of our God. And this is a, both a warning and a, an affirmation or comfort. I think we can take comfort from this verse knowing what Jesus does when you come to him and what he's doing and what the power of God is doing in our lives as Christians. He is washing us. He's sanctifying us. And he has justified us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and in the Spirit of our God, or in Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God touching us. And, you know, we can walk around knowing about Jesus or even uh, as far as we know in our conscious minds, giving our life to Jesus. But when we actually surrender to his will, he transforms us from the inside out and old things become new right the bible says that if anyone be in christ he is a new creation but the old has passed away behold all things are new or all things have become new and we can walk and are expected to walk in newness of life and the old pattern of thinking that labels us uh, in shame or in bondage whether that's to thieving or drunkenness drunkards right? The sexually immoral. The, that's those things that, that are, were part of the former life that were sinful, were, that were destroying us, bringing shame to our life, bringing destruction to our relationships, bringing destruction to our identity, how we saw ourselves, how others saw us, how we saw our relationship with God. Those things are washed away and sanctified by the blood of Jesus. And yet we have instructions from Paul and the other writers of the New Testament not to walk according to the former things. Don't do those former things like we did before because it's not who you are. It's not who you are as a new creature in Christ Jesus. And so how awful is it to be brand new and, and to go back to the old things? And if we do go back, we can get confused about our real identity in Christ Jesus. But the power of God is just as, it's just as powerful today as the moment you got saved. It's just as powerful now as that time, the time that you gave your life to Jesus and surrendered your will to him and that he began to shape and change your relationships. He, maybe he brought you peace. He brought you joy when you were depressed, when you were angry, when you were full of all of these things. And the power of God is still present and still capable of asserting a new identity and his new identity in you. And it's that, that version of you that you were always meant to be. It's the Jesse that has right relationship with Jesus Christ, that walks in newness of life, that is not defined by those former things but or by the former lusts and passions, is not controlled 
by those things, not chained by those things, but walking in newness of life, walking free, walking in freedom, and walking in the light of sanctification and holiness, walking as the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus and owning that identity, living up to that identity, realizing that identity from the inside out. And we have a new identity in Jesus Christ, and we can walk that way. We can live that way. We can have the faith to walk that out. And if any man stumbles, the Bible says a righteous person stumbles seven times but gets back up. And that's talking about being able to stand back up on our feet and have the confidence to move forward, knowing that we're not defined by the sins of the past, but we're defined by the righteousness of Jesus Christ and the washing of his blood on our lives. As, as long as we grabbed hold of that by faith and with sincerity, and we walk that out, and God grants us the power in his sanctification to walk out a, a holy lifestyle and a lifestyle that speaks to our identity as children of God and as ones who have been washed by the blood of Jesus, sanctified and set free. And that brings a whole new peace and a whole new comfort, a, no, a whole new joy to us and, and to our life. And it transforms the way that we see ourselves, the way that we see others, the way that we see God. And it's so beautiful. And, it, and it's, it's a place of faith and joy and confidence that we can have in him. And it's a testimony of how he's changed our life. No longer walking in the former things. Such were some of you, but you were washed, but you were sanctified, but you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and in the spirit of our God. Isn't that wonderful? And that's your story for all who've accepted Jesus Christ and surrendered their life and their will to him. And that's my story, and it's such a wonderful one. And I'm so glad to be a part of it. I can't wait to see what Jesus does next because he's transforming us from glory to glory. Amen. Amen. Let's walk in the new identity that we have in Christ Jesus. Dear Lord, I thank you for this morning. Lord, I pray that you would bless each person watching this video. Lord, that, that uh, you would do a work in their heart so that they would have a greater faith and a greater realization of the identity that they have in you, even the new identity that they have in you. Lord, and that you would bring forth new growth in them. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Well, God bless you. Thank you so much for watching.